Today in this video, we're gonna go ahead and test out the Manscaped Handyman. So this, we're gonna go into an in-depth review, comparison, as well as a demo on barbering for the Handyman. Let's jump right into it. So this is a brand new product from Manscaped, retailing for about $80. I'll leave a link in the description if this encourages you to want to buy it. But it's pretty simple unboxing, as you can see here. Very good packaging when it comes to Manscaped products. I love the instruction manual. It's very easy and very well illustrated. When it comes to the actual product itself, it does have a lot of features when it comes to this. All of Manscaped products are pretty much waterproof. So it's good for IPX7 waterproof resistance. It also does have a magnetic cap here on the top. So you can actually easily store it in its own case, I guess you could say, which is really nice, more protective, and as well as easier to put on and harder to lose, the cap at least. This does have USB-C charging, which is good. This lasts for about 90 minutes of runtime, which is more than enough. You probably will only be using it for about one to two minutes per day maximum. So this will roughly last you about a month or two before you have to recharge it. Now, when it comes to the blades, you do have to clean them a specific way. And I'll be showing you in this video how to clean it. So what I do is run it under water. You can use a disinfectant spray as well from Babyliss or other companies out there. Just disinfect it like that. It helps lubricate the blade. It helps disinfect it. It's an all-in-one clipper spray that I recommend uh, when you're maintaining machines like this, especially when you're gonna be putting it on your skin and everything else like that. You want it to be as clean as possible. That way there's no infections or anything else like that. So definitely gotta take really good care when it comes to your clippers. But normally I use this foil shaver, right? It comes with this really bad uh, little cap here and I always lose this. As you can see here, this is a comparison between the two. Way shorter, way smaller, way more compact because it does have that trim guard on it as well. That way you're able to, you know, trim it better. And I like the button rather than the switch. This one is really terrible build quality. It feels cheap. This one is a lot more hefty and uh, it has USB-C charging. This one doesn't have USB-C charging. It's that weird little ACDC thing. So that's just a quick comparison for what I'm used to. I already cut my hair a couple days ago and I don't really have a beard. So yeah, for real though, if you, if you all wanna see me use this on that, 100 likes, 100 likes, bro. Let's go. Wow, that actually cuts really good. That cuts really good. I went too high, I'm pretty sure, but that cuts so good. I'm surprised. And it feels super smooth. There's no like tugging or pulling. It feels really good. Compared to this one, I'll show you the sound comparisons. You can be the judge for that, but I guess I'll do the other side. See, this one doesn't even cut as good or smoothly as this one. I have to actually sit there and do it, but this one. Wrong side. It actually works. And I did a little drop test. Oh my gosh. It's, it's still fine, it popped off. Still fine. A little drop test, Manscaped. <laughs> little drop test. I love this already, I really do. This is really nice. And then you just put the little cap over and it's good to go. But you do have to clean it, I would say every single time, but knowing everyone watching, you probably won't be able to do that every single time. So let's say every week that you use it, and depending if you use it every every day or every other day, clean it at least once a week. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the haircut uh, and then we'll be good to go. I 
Now you can see the cuts coming together. We pretty much only needed to do a little bit, but always good to have a fresh bait, you know? And you can see that bottom line. We will go back with the trimmer, but you can see a very faint uh, line there. We'll try to get that out with the trimmer. If not, then we'll have to use this very delicately with the corners and just flick out. I saved what I could, but this is what the uh, finished cut is. I'm definitely using enhancements on this corner, but you see, flawless. And this is baby smooth. Like it actually went down, cut down the stubble completely. It didn't even struggle with it. So Manscape, you did a really good job when it came to that. Good cuts. Don't worry, we do have more barber videos coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. I love this thing already. So I've had other brands in the past for foil shavers and other stuff like that. And um, this definitely gets rid of all the stubble. It's for the best of the best clean shaves, no matter what, to maintain the best of the best, as well as good for barbers as well. You can use this foil shaver. I recommend this one over any other one when it comes to barbering. I wish I had two, but I am giving this one to my dad so that way he can actually use it for his beard because he has a beard. I don't yet, so. Big shout out to Manscaped for actually sending out multiple products. Really means a lot to me. If you guys do wanna check out this, I will have a uh, link in the description for this. It is a sponsored video, but they were able to give me full creative control when it came to this video, so that's amazing. Thank you, Manscaped. I tried to not break as much uh, you know, barriers, like I didn't wanna say other brand names or anything else like that, but long story short, thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We are.